What's up, nerds and geeks? My name is OMG WTF LOL FTW BRB, and welcome to another episode of the mod spotlight of Total Extreme Wrestling in the uh, what was it? The mod? Oh, uh, Montreal Aftermath. My apologies. Um, real quick, I want to cover something because there was an extra video to um, episode two when I uploaded it, um, because it kind of went a little bit longer than I expected the video to go on to. I didn't really explain this in episode two, so that's why there was, like, an extra video, just in case, you know, you guys wanted to go watch me ramble on when I hire people. And, uh, speaking of hiring people, I did indeed hire some people. Um, we don't have them, unfortunately, yet, but I hired Devon Dudley. I even changed his picture, and I made him Dirty Devon Dudley. If you guys don't like any of the names or any gimmicks or anything I've chosen, you can let me know and I will um, change them to anything you guys are interested in. But I uh, changed him to Dirty Devon Dudley, and he is a misogynist, which is... Um, let me, I don't want to be incorrect. Character who loves to inflict pain on himself and often other people as well. So we have uh, Devon. We hired... Bubba Ray Dudley, who I now changed to Bully Ray Dudley. I'm really happy about this one, and I, I, I kind of hope you guys are t too, because uh, I, I don't know why. I'm just like, giddy about it. We even got Bully Ray here, and uh, he's a bully gimmick. So Bully Ray Dudley. I'm really excited for that one. Uh, we did get Butterbean. Um, I didn't do any new name for him, and he has a badass gimmick. I did originally hire him as a face, and if you, you would have seen that if you did the extra video. But I changed him to heal because I want to do it. Well, I have a team for him and a Mark Henry setup. Uh, interesting enough, though, when you say push, it says occasional wrestler. Uh, not happening, Butterbean. If I got you under contract and I'm paying you that much, uh, you're going to be here a lot more than you think. So, oh, here's uh, Halloween. He was Halloween, but we named him El Chupacabre. Because why not? He's in the lightweight division, and he even has a mask now for the WWF. Has zero prestige on it. And we gave him a psycho gimmick. Just trying to find the other characters that we hired. We hired Justin Liger. No change for him. We're going to let him keep his mask just because it's so prestigious. He's also going to be in the lightweight division. And he has a foreigner gimmick, just because it was strong in him as well. Not just because you know he's a foreigner. He was strong in it. I wouldn't have done it. Changed Marlena's picture just because, well, why not? And um, I'm probably going to make her the manager of the Dudley Boys. Unless you guys have any objections. Uh, who else did we hire? Oh, Rob Van Dam. And uh, I gave Rob Van Dam a Chosen One gimmick. And, of course, I didn't change his name because he's the whole FN show, and it makes no sense. We did get Shame Helms. And I gave him the obsessive fan gimmick just because I couldn't really think of one. And I think it'd be kind of funny because he's you know, so young. He always a seven-year pro. Holy crap. I don't know. I thought it'd be funny. But if you guys have any ideas, especially uh, to the one commenter who wanted Shane Helms, uh, any specific gimmick you'd like to see him have, let me know. And I definitely will put it on him. I also made him a face. But if you want him to be a heel, uh, he's strong in both, so I don't mind. And he's also in the lightweight division. I don't want to ramble on too long because these episodes go on a lot longer than I can suspect. But uh, I, I do want to showcase just in case none of you guys. And I also want to show what I, I did. Uh, we got Super Crazy, who is a heel, and he's got a Daredevil gimmick. He'll be in the lightweight division. And I think that's it. Yep. And I also edited some storylines. Those guys haven't debuted yet, so they don't appear in any of these things. Uh, we do have some storylines I edited here. We still have the Ahmed Johnson Triple H. Uh, the description I put on it was, Ahmed Johnson has had just about enough of Triple H's backstage antics and politicking, and has gone on record stating that the European Championship deserves better than Triple H. Triple H only had two words to say to Ahmed, John on a, Ahmed Johnson about these comments. Ugh. Then we're going to have the Headbangers Dudley Boys storyline, which is going to say, it's a, the WWF has, no, has now signed, probably should change that, I'll do it later. Has now signed the Dudley Boys and both Bully Ray and Dirty D or yeah, Bully Ray and Dirty Diva have gone on record saying that they feel the ta tag team competition in the WWF is a joke and dare any team to step up to them. The Headbangers, being no stranger to the ECW style, have stepped up to accept not a act whatever that says those damn Dudley's challenges. Uh, then we have the Owen Hart Rock storyline. I think I've already read that. 
RVD and Mankind. RVD is now an official member of the WWF roster, and his past is no secret. RVD, being a former ECW superstar, has said that no superstar can compare to him. But if hard, if the hardcore icon... God, I should have checked these before I read them. Uh, but yada, yada, yada. And then we have uh, this one, which basically talks about uh, Road Warriors, uh, you know... Uh, how people are starting to think that maybe the Road Warriors should hang it up. We have a locker room incident. Our backstage rating is an 85. Anyone else any, that I hired a negative influence? Doesn't look like it. Oh, well, duh, because none of their contracts have begun. What's our locker room incident here? Uh, we have one with Road Dog and Mankind, and then one with the Brooklyn Brawler, so... Uh, Road Dog and Mankind really helped create a fun and relaxed atmosphere backstage after somehow finding a karaoke machine and... Huh. And that's something. They were singing and got everyone to uh, be happy. And uh, cool. So karaoke and video game tournaments. Nothing bad. I'm happy. Good show. Good show. J good show. Good show. Jolly good show. That was a... Uh, if any of you watch... um. The regular show. That was the regular show impersonation of uh, Pops. So where do we want to hold hold this? I want to hold it somewhere where I can make some money, but... So this is going to be 45. That was not going to make me the most anyway. I saw we have 47 here, and it's the same. So Mid-South or Great Lakes. I'm going to go with Mid-South just because I... Am I from the Mid-South? I don't know. I'm from Arizona, originally born, so... Not that I live there anymore. <clears throat> so, uh, I don't know if I'm from the Mid-South, but... Yeah, whatever. So, we got the Portland Arena, whatever. So, yep. This, so, how long is the show got to be? 25%. Okay, um, interesting. So, storyline-wise, so we're going to have a... Main event... Uh, between Stone Cold and I don't know who I'm going to have Stone Cold and Shawn Michaels or maybe a tag team match I don't know did the match start yeah we'll do it we'll do a tag team match in the main event yeah that's what we'll do tag team it'll be The Rock and Shawn Michaels versus Stone Cold Steve Austin and Owen Hart booked this is the uh what was it the main match right so 20 minutes for a major match 20 minutes and we're gonna have steve austin get the win uh keep everybody in here strong owen uh michaels and the rock open match have the rock be the loser because i don't want sean to be the loser uh did i do open match script Slow build, and yep, that's what I want. Yep, okay, that's going to be our main event. <coughs> We're also going to book the opening match, which is going to be Takamichi Noku and Brian Christopher. I don't know if I'm going to make this the opening match, actually. Probably won't, actually, now that I think about it. And it's going to be for the Light Heavyweight Championship. And... For this event, eight minutes for a minor match, so I'm going to give it ten minutes. Ten minutes, and we are indeed going to have Taka Minchinoku win the match. Keep him strong, open match. Uh, do I want to make it the opening bout? I don't think I do. No, I don't. Decisive. And we're going to have a post-match celebration as well for that, so... Like, new champion, or new champion celebration, whatever. Participant 1 makes his first appearance and is holding... Ah, no, that's going to be the other one. So, post-match celebration. A worker has just won a singles match, celebrates in the ring. Goes into the crowd. He's not over, over, and I don't want him to, like, look like a fool, so... We're just going to have him celebrate, like, for three minutes. That's not going to be the opening match. I've, I'm, I'm not letting that be the opening match at all. Uh, for the opening bout, we're going to have tag team? Tag team. We're going to have a tag team action. And it's going to be the Legion Odo. Yes. 
versus no not yet not yet soon oh boy okay yeah let's make that the opening bout actually never mind i was gonna say i don't want to have the tag team titles be the opening bout but we are gonna have the tag team titles be the opening bout so auto match this will go on for 12 minutes really i'm gonna do 13. i don't care and we're gonna have billy gunn get the win keep strong keep strong all these guys want them to look good even though the losing open work not all out uh work the crowd script not decisive did i by chance make this a script i did not um script so this will be our opening bout and I think I want to have them cheat. So. Can we have like a. Uh, screw referee? I don't know. What would it be? Like, I'm thinking maybe like grab the tights or something? Alright, well, we'll do that. Flash pinfall seems like that would be what I'm looking for. Um, we're going to add an angle, authority, hold on, authority, hmm, authority figure gives a choice, they can either pick their own tag team partner for their upcoming match, or he will pick somebody, I want to do like, match announcement? Or do we have co commentators? Or is it announcers? What is it under? Is it under anything? Or am I just being stupid? Uh, this is what I think takes up these episodes. Is because um, I'm not completely familiar with these uh, these new packs. So I don't know. I don't want it to be a graphic. I, I want it to be like... okay. Uh, match match making punishment. A worker in position of power decides to give a wrestler he dislikes a really tough. Um, I don't want a two v whatever. <sighs> match announcement. This is a graphic. I don't want a graphic. Whatever. Let, I guess we'll just have to do graphic. Talking about the upcoming match between uh, where the hell's two versus two. Where the announcers briefly talk. It was right here the whole time. So. Who the hell are the announcers? I guess. They're just off screen while the graphics going on. Jim Ross. Oh this is not what I wanted. I needed a tag team one. Uh, at angle. Match announcement. Even though 2v2 vers version 1. Graphic is shown. Oh, where they just briefly talk about it. Never mind. So I guess it's not going to show them, which I don't really care anymore. Not The Rock. No, Stone Cold needs to be in that position because it's him and Owen. Oh, Shawn Michaels and The Rock. That's going to be an interesting team. That'll be the hype after this. That'll be interesting. Shawn Michaels and The Rock. Can we do like a, a promo? A promo where I want to say taunts actually tag team taunts like another one taunting of a loser participant one is lose loser loser where is the like um oh god these are so this gives me a headache <laughs> it really does like ugh tag team taunt another thank you. That's what I wanted. So we're going to have Road Dog and Badass Billy Gunn taunt Hawk and Animal for five minutes because I have to book some thingies. There we go. Now now my, now my soul feels better. Why the hell is this between? Probably going to book a match between there. In fact, let's do that right now. 
Get a singles match in there. I'm feeling upper mid. Probably Ken Shamrock again. Even though we do have to do the uh, gold dust match still. But uh, either way, we'll get to that. Exclude booked. I always forget to do that now. I use usually like my, my go-to thing. Shamrock versus Farouk. I think so. I think not Chainsaw Charlie. Farouk. Two upper mid carters. Have them go at it for 12 minutes. Shamrock get the win. Keeping them strong. Open match. Decisive. Yes. And a script as well. KKK. Okay. Um, Storyline wise, I need to book thing with Taker and Gold Dust and, and Ahmed Johnson and Triple H. Yeah, we'll do something between them as well. So let's just add the Gold Dust Vader match. Gold Dust and it's time, it's time, it's Vader time. I don't really care who wins this. I'm not going to lie. So I'm just going to say keep both strong. Have it be open, script, and that's it. Let the road agent deal with that. Move this, like, here. Yeah. And then we're going to have the match between Kane and the Undertaker. The Undertaker and Kane. Have, that's the rock. Okay. Have it go on for... I'd say... I'm going to make it a... 16-minute match. It's going to be a draw between the two. Hopefully I don't get buried or not domination. Uh, keep strong. Keep taker strong. Open... Nah. Script. And it's going to be... What's double? Can we do double DQ? What is that? Or double count out. Double DQ. Because it makes it feel a little bit more intense if you ask me. Save that shoot. That'll be our match leading up to the... Uh, Main event. Who did I make win this? Stone Cold and um, Owen. So we're gonna have post match celebration after a tag team match. Celebrate together for the fans. No, 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 no. Not together. Tag version two. Yeah, we'll do this one, because I think the fans will get a kick out of this. Owen Hart, have this go on for like eight minutes. Austin and Owen celebrate in the crowd, and that'll be like that ending segment. So what else do we need to do? We did Kane and that, and we were going to do a match between Triple H and Ahmed Johnson. I think that might be our opening bout. You know what? That Yeah, that's a good opening bout. Have them go on for like... 13 minutes for the European Championship. We are going to have Triple H win. We're going to keep both strong. It's going to be an open bout. Work the crowd. It's also going to be tainted because it's going to be a manager interference, which is going to involve China hitting Ahmed Johnson to get him to retain. So... Nah, we're going to make... No, no. Let's, uh... Let's do that. And then we'll move this back a little bit so we can, um... We can do this. Yeah, I like that. Uh, we need one more angle. Uh, real quick, I want to go to the... What was it? The New Age Outlaws match because I want to take the open 
option off that because I don't want to get that negative thing where it's like, oh, you could, um, I don't know. Backstage brawl. Um, one of the most standard angles, yeah. Uh, let's just do a backstage brawl. Have Ahmed Johnson, uh, Ahmed hunts HHH. Have them battling because, you know, they're pretty pissed at each other. Have that be like eight minutes long? Or how many do I need? That's good. That'll be after their match. It'll be before Ken Shamrocks. So I think this is going to be good. Uh, I'm not sure how much I've recorded. But uh, we're going to run this show and then we're going to call it an episode. And yeah. Alrighty, let's do it. And about that featured great action, average heat, Triple H defeated Ahmed Johnson. Pedigree out there, interference, uh, cool. I got a 62, that's a good start to, start to the show. Solid in-ring action, but non-existent heat, Takemichi no uh, figures, you know, I wasn't really worried about that. Uh, Taka, oh boy, glad I didn't have him going in the crowds, they would have just probably thrown him back in. He's so light, he would have, like, flown away. Cuckoo. Got a 64 on that one. About to feature great action and average heat. Vader beat Gold, beat Goldust. So, oh, they have good chemistry, so we could probably savage this uh, storyline. That's good. We got an 82 on that. Nah, fuck off. Uh, some good action, but not much way in heat. What? Really? Are you serious? Okay. Outlaws defeated the Legion of Doom with a fast roll-up. Rodog and Billy Gunn got good chemistry, so on and so forth. Ama Johns. Oh, wow, dude. That is awesome. I'm loving the fact that this feud's going over well. I, I really am. Cool. Bout that featured great action and average heat. Ken Shamrock defeated Farouk. There was not enough selling shown. Why? Featured great action and good crowd. Undertaker drew a came dub following a double disqualification. That makes me very happy. And our main event, not exactly as what I wanted, but we still have an angle. Great action in a good crowd. Austin defeated Rock out there as Stunner. All right, cool. 88. That's pretty good. And what is our rating? All right, 32 regions. Final rating of an 80. That's a great show. And who had the best match of the night? I'm going to assume it was Austin. And, um, yeah, it's definitely... Steve Austin. Where's Steve Austin? And Owen Hart. And, um, who else? You know what? I'm going to give Ahmed Johnson and Triple H some credit here. I'm going to, maybe not, because I can't give them both. Mm, yeah, just these two then. Uh, compliment on good performance. Compliment on good performance, make speech, seem please, seem please. <coughs> oh, excuse me, I'm dying in your ears slowly. What do we got coming up here? Uh, I'll look at this stuff here. We got Brian Pillman remembered. All right, pay-per-view problems for WWF, really? Uh, DirecTV have confirmed the buy rates for events have reached critical low levels. Oh, no. Ugh, we're probably going to have to... Uh, we're probably going to have to do something else. Um, held in the Rose Garden, the feedback has been positive, with most liking the vast majority of the show. That's awesome. And as for other things, doesn't look like we have much. I want to look at these this real quick. So, buy rate warning. DirecTV have sent word that they are unhappy with the buy rate of your latest pay-per-view. Want to see improvements. And it got a buy rate of 0.63. I'm not really sure what that means. Um... Oh, tonight, Lord, I'm not even going to have the other people. That's going to do it for this episode, guys. I'm probably going to look at some pay-per-views in the um, off-camera and see if I can get some uh, another pay-per-view deal with someone else since we seem to be losing this one. And I'm going to try to think of some ideas for Raw. So real quick, I'm going to look at the storylines. That's got a 72. Got an 83. That's radical. Uh, this has got a 63. It's got a 60. Probably going to end this storyline now, anyway, because we're done with it. we got an 85 and a 74. All our storylines are doing great, so I'm going to end it off. You guys have a good day. See you later.